Good morning to all of you future principals. So today, I'm going to share with you all about child-friendly school. And this note or this topic that I will be sharing with you is found in the book of Tim Erwich. Actually, I uh, bought this book last uh, 2018. Okay, so what is all about child-friendly school? What exactly is a child-friendly school and how can our school become one? A child-friendly school has the following five traits. Okay, what are these five traits? We have, number one, a child-friendly school is inclusive, gender-sensitive, and non-discriminating. Next, a child-friendly school is effective with children. Next, a child-friendly school is healthy for children. Fourth, a child-friendly school is caring and protective of all children. And number five is a child-friendly school involves children's families and the community. Let's take them one by one. Let's take each five traits or uh, know the features of the different five traits number one as i have said a while back is a child-friendly school is inclusive gender sensitive and non-discriminating it is said to be inclusive gender sensitive and non-discriminating when it does not turn away any child from enrolling and attending classes for whatever reason. It gives boys and girls equal learning opportunities. It treats all children equally, regardless of gender, social status, cultural origin, or religious belief. Next, the second one is, a child-friendly school is effective with, child, with children. It is said to be effective with children when it, it is child-centered, has the best interest of the child in mind in all its learning activities, has a curriculum that addresses the child's learning needs as well as those of the community and society. It employs teaching methods that are suited to the child's age, abilities, and ways of learning. It encourages children to think and decide for themselves, ask questions, and express their opinions, promotes quality learning. Make sure that children master the basic skills of writing, reading, speaking, and listening, mathematics, and the necessary skills that they can use through life encourages children to learn by doing and by doing things with others make sure that teachers are qualified to teach and continue to become better teachers make sure that teachers and other staff are physically fit adequately paid and highly motivated encourages children to participate in school and community activities next is encourages children to work together to solve problems and achieve what they aim to do and the last one is encourages children to express their feelings through the arts music drawing drama and other forms next let's proceed to a child-friendly school is healthy for children. It is said to be healthy for children when it promotes children's health, of course. Guarantees that the school buildings, grounds, and facilities are safe, clean, healthy, and with adequate water and sanitary facilities. Has written policies and regular practices that promote good health integrates health education and life skill development in its curriculum hosts regular health services for children such as immunization okay let's proceed to the fourth one which is 
A child-friendly school is caring and protective of all children. It is said to be caring and protective of all children when it number 1. Safeguards and provides security for children. Helps defend and protect children from harm and abuse. Encourages children to care for each other. Does not tolerate physical punishment on children. Has clear guidelines for, con uh, for conduct between students and does not allow bullying. Okay, the last one, the last trait among the five is a child-friendly school involves children's families and the community. It is said to involve families and the community when it works closely with children's families. Consults parents and invites their opinions regarding school policies and activities. Holds regular dialogues with parents regarding their children's learning progress. Collaborates with parents to encourage their children to practice at home what they are learning in school. Cares as much parents that children get enough nutrition and are in good health cares about the children's safety not only within the school premises but also on their way to and from school engages the support and interaction of community institutions and other individuals enlist the support of community institutions and individuals for its projects and uh, for its projects i should say for its projects and activities for children acts on behalf of and be upholds the interests of children in community assemblies okay to sum up the five traits of a child-friendly school we have here the first one a child-friendly school is inclusive gender sensitive and non-discriminating number two a child-friendly school is effective with children. Next, a child-friendly school is healthy for children. Next, a child-friendly school is caring and protective of all children. And the last is a child-friendly school involves children's families and the community. Okay, so that's all about child-friendly school. I hope you enjoyed listening and uh, good luck and God bless to all of us future or fellow future principals. That's all. Bye.